Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus. And this time we are looking into the uh, soon to be released Next Ev Evolution campaign expansion. I decided to uh, take a look at the hero cards that come in this campaign box. So we have two heroes in this box Domino and Cable. And in this video, I will be looking at the domino cards. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so we are starting uh, to look at the cards that come in the domino pre-built uh, justice deck. So the aspect for this pre-built deck is justice. And let's start off with the hero card so on the alter ego side we have nina turman so nina turman has three recovery mutant trait and an action uh, action choose a card in your hand swap that card with the top card of your discard pile limit once per round and the hand size is six and there are nine hit points on the hero side we have domino so Domino has 1 fort, 2 attack, and 3 defense. Posse and X have force traded. When counting resources on cards discarded from the top of your deck, count each printed wild icon twice. Action choose a card in your hand, swap that card with the top card of your deck, limit per round. So, uh, this seems like uh, Domino will key off from cards discarded from the top of your deck for uh, resources, but uh, we will see that in a moment when we get into the uh, aspect or the hero-specific card set. First off, in the hero set, we have Diamondback. So, uh, Diamondback is a 2 cost ally with 1 fort and 1 attack, plus uh, traded and 2 hit points. Action! Exhaust Diamondback. Deal 1 damage to her and discard the top card of your deck. Deal 1 damage to each enemy for each resource item discarded this way. And this can be copied as a wild item. So, an AoE effect and uh, you can uh, have a double resource icon on your deck. So it would deal 2 damage to everything. So this is a decent card and a cheap one. Next up, we have another signature ally, Outlaw. So Outlaw is a 3 cost ally with 1 port and 1 attack with an asterisk. Outlaw, Outlaw and Posse traded and 3 hit points. Uh, comes with toughness and the asterisk is interrupt. When Outlaw attacks, discard the top card of your deck. Outlaw gets plus 1 attack for this attack for each resource icon discarded this way. And this can be committed as a wild attack. So again, keying off from uh, the card that you discard from the top of your deck. So if you can load the top of your deck with a double resource icon, this will be a really powerful card. Then we have a good workout. And there are two copies of this. So a good workout is a two cost event, attack, superpower traded, hero action, attack, Deal 4 damage to an enemy and discard the top card of your deck. For each resource icon discarded this way, deal 1 additional damage to that enemy. And this can be committed as a wild icon. So a lot of wild icons in uh, Domino's signature set. Next up we have Luck Be A Lady. Only one copy of this event. So Luck Be A Lady is a one cost event, super power traded, hero action. Discard the top card of your deck and count the resources on it. For each resource counted this way, if it is a uh, energy resource, heal two damage from a character. Um, mental resource, remove two threat from a scheme. Uh, physical resource, deal three damage to an enemy. Or wild icon, choose one of the above. And this can be committed as a wild icon. Okay, well, a decent card if you know what. Uh, resource you have on the top of your deck. Next up we have right place, 
right time, and there are two copies of this in the set. So, right place, right time is a two cost event, ship of power, and bought traded. Uh, hero action bought. Remove three threats from a scheme and discard the top card of your deck. For each resource icon discarded, this way remove one additional threat from that scheme. And this can be committed, you guessed it, as a wild eye. Okay, next we have Jackpot. Only one copy of this in the deck, and it is a resource card. And a response after this card is discarded from the top of your deck, shuffle it back into your deck. And this has all three resource icons, so uh, energy, mental, and physical. Next, we have Pip the Pug. Look how cute he is. So Pip the Pug is one cost to four, creature traded, alter ego action, exiles Pip the Pug. Put one domino or posse card from your discard pile on top of your deck. And, uh, you guessed it, it can be committed as a wild resource. Next up, we have the, ba the Painted Lady. It is a one cost support vehicle traded response after you discard a card from the top of your deck. And that's that card face down here to a maximum of three. Alter Ego action, exhaust the Painted Lady, and one card and that's here uh, to your hand. And again, you can commit this as a wild item. Next, uh, we have. Domino's Pistol, and there are two copies of this. So, Domino's Pistol is a two cost upgrade, weapon traded, restricted. Hero action attack, exhaust Domino's Pistol, choose an enemy, and discard the top card of your deck. Deal one damage to that enemy for each resource icon discarded this way. This attack gains range, and these can be committed as well. So, no surprise, I think all of the <laughs> icons on the domino cards are wild icons. Who would have thought? Next up, we have upgrade Lucky and Good. So, it is a one cost upgrade, super power traded, hero interrupt. Defense when a boost card is turned face up during an attack against you. Exhaust luck and, uh, Lucky and Good. Cancel that card's boost icons and boost ability. Give the attacking enemy another boost card for this attack. And this can be committed as a wild. That seems right, like a really, really good card if you're in a tight situation. Next, we have a Lucky Break. It is a zero cost upgrade, super power traded, hero interrupt. When you reveal an encounter card, discard Lucky Break. Cancel the effects of that card and discard it. Reveal another card from the encounter deck. Okay, another quite similar ability. Lastly, uh, the last card in the domino set is Probability Field. It is a two cost upgrade. It is super power traded. Interrupt when you uh, use a basic power, discard the card of your deck, you get plus one to that power for this use for each resource icon discarded this way. And this can be committed as a, you guessed it, wild icon. So that is the domino set. Next up we'll go into the justice cards that come with the pre-built deck. So we have a ju new justice ally, Feral. So Feral is a four cost ally with two dwarves with an asterisk and Two attack and uh, X force traded, three hit points. Response after peril, wards, discard the top card of your deck for each resource icon discarded this way, deal one damage to the villain, and this can be committed as an energy resource. Again, continuing with the dominoes, discard a card from the top of your deck theme. And next we have Wolf Spain. So Wolf Spain is a three cost ally with two dwarves with an asterisk and one attack. Axe force traded, three hit points. Response after Wolf Wolfbane force, name a card type, then discard the top card of your deck. If that card is on the name of the name type, you may add it to your hand. 
and this can be committed as a physical resource. Okay, so um, if you know the card on top of your deck, this is a good card draw mechanic. <coughs> Next up, we have even the odds, and of course a full set of three copies of this in the deck. So even the odds is a two cost event and four traded requirement, one energy icon, while paying for this card spend the listed resources. Hero action four, remove one uh, threat per player from each side scheme, deal one damage to the villain for each side scheme to be that this way. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Well, not really super powerful, but if you uh, for uh, for multiplayer, this might be a really interesting card, but we'll see. Next up, we have a Team Investigation, a full copy of uh, a set of three copies in the deck. So, cost this two per player uh, event uh, Alliance. The players can pay this card's cost as a group. Uh, so for two players it is a four cost, three players six cost, etc. Here action remove three threat per player from a side scheme, and this can be committed as a mental resource. Okay, well, an interesting card for sure. Next up we have a new card type. So uh, this expansion <coughs> uh, introduces the player side scheme. So the first player side scheme uh, here is take out the guards. It is uh, a player side scheme, as I said, victory zero. Uh, when defeated, each player may discard one non elite minion from play, and it comes into play with four threat per player, and it can be committed as a mental resource. So, well, uh, we'll see how these uh, player side schemes behave once I get playing. Uh, I really liked them in uh, Lord of the Rings, where they were introduced, and uh, in Marvel there isn't a uh, same kind of card type at all, but I'm happy to see this come into the uh, Marvel Champions game. Lastly, uh, in the Justice cards we have Overwatch, and a copy of three of this card in the deck. So Overwatch is a zero cost upgrade, and that's to a scheme, max one per scheme, hero interrupt, when any amount of threat is removed from that scheme by thwart, discard this card, remove an equal amount of threat from a different scheme, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So if you are playing a scenario with a lot of side schemes in play, I think this is a good deck card for that, that kind of scenario. Next, we will look at all the cards, uh, the basic cards that come in Domino's kit or the pre built deck. So, we, first we have Atlas Bear, uh, I mean Atlas Bear. So, Atlas Bear is a 3 cost ally with 1 port and 1 attack posse and Wakanda traded. Uh, 3 hit points. Uh, action, exhaust Atlas Bear, look at the top card of a player deck if that card is an event. May deal one damage to Atlas Bear to add that card into its owner's hand. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Next, we have White Fox. Uh, White Fox is a three cost ally with one ward and one attack, posset rated, and three hit points. Response after White Fox is discarded from the top of your deck, put her in play under your control. Oh, that's a powerful ability. And uh, White Fox can be committed as an energy resource. Then we have the Posse. And uh, the Posse is a two cost event. Uh, posse traded, max one per deck. Play only if you control at least three characters with the Posse trait. Hero action heal one damage from each Posse character and ready them. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. I think that's a really good card for this deck. And then we have another player side scheme. This time a uh, uh, basic uh, 
player size scheme, so this can go into any deck. And uh, it is a super power trading one cost. And uh, victory is zero when defeated, each player may sell deck and discard pile for an identity specific up upgrade and put it into play and shuffle their deck. And uh, it comes into play with three threat on it and can be committed as an energy resource. So this is a really good one if you need that one combo piece that is stuck in at the bottom of your deck so you can search for it. And even if you uh, have it in the discard, you can get it from there. So a really, really good one. Next we have a new resource card, Digging Deep. There are three copies of this in the deck. So Digging Deep is a resource card response after this card is discarded from the top of your deck, add it to your hand, and this can be permitted as a wild resource. Then uh, we have the basic uh, three energy, genius and strength cards with the X-Men art again. Lastly, we have the sharpshooter. There are three copies of this. So the sharpshooter is a two cost upgrade, uh, skill traded, max one per player, hero interrupt. When you make a ranged attack, discard the top card of your deck. This attack deals one additional damage for each resource item discarded this way. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Okay, well, uh, that is the whole domino hero deck. But lastly, we will look at her uh, obligation and uh, Nemesis set. So the obligation is Memories of Armageddon. Uh, it is an obligation given to the Nina Thurman player. Treat your identities, printed text box as if it were blank, except for trades. Alter ego action, exhaust your identity, discard Memories of Armageddon. And it has two boost up. Okay, so it shuts down Domino's this, uh, uh, top deck manipulation. And then we have the Nemesis set, which starts with Topaz. So Topaz is a minion with one scheme and two attack, uh, mutant traded and three hit points. When revealed, search the encounter deck, discard file, and set aside area for one copy of superpower feedback and attach it to your identity shuffle. Domino's Nemesis Minion, and it has three boost icons. Okay, uh, we'll get into the superpower feedback in a moment, but we'll continue uh, to the Nemesis side scheme, which is not my lucky day. And uh, it is a side scheme, and when revealed, each player must either take one damage or place two threat here. And this has a, a boost, uh, plus one boost icon, so all the Encounter cards uh, revealed gets plus one boost icon when this is in play. And it comes into play with three threat and has two boost items. Next, uh, we have a second Nemesis minion prototype. So, prototype is a two scheme and two attack minion with the mutant trait and one health per and asterisk. Prototype gets plus one hit point for each slot counter on him. When revealed, place lock counters on top of the top equal to the amount of damage your identity has sustained. So that is quite nasty. If you have taken, for example, 5 damage, uh, then prototype has 5 lock counters and comes in play with 6 health. So a really, really tough, tough enemy to get rid of in late game if you have taken a lot of damage. And it has 2 boost items. And lastly, we talked about this card already, so there are two copies of this superpower feedback. So, uh, superpower feedback is an attachment attached to your identity for response. After you resolve an ability on your identity or an identity specific card, take one damage. Alter ego action. Discard one identity specific card from your hand. Discard this card. And it has one boost icon. So, that is the whole Domino uh, set or uh, pre-built justice deck. So, looking forward to playing Domino. I really like 
uh, her as a character in the Marvel Universe. The luck aspect is really interesting and I'm really eager to see how that factors in when you are playing, playing her. And uh, I am usually really unlucky in Marvel Champions, so hopefully Domino brings a bit more luck to my side. But that is Domino's deck. And in the next video I will go over uh, Cable's deck, but for now, hope you guys like this Hero Pack Focus, thanks for watching, and until next time.